All right, taking this XK on a little family Jeep trip. So let's see what we got here. We got my wife, I got myself. Okay, let's see. We got kid number one, kid number two, kid number three, and kid number four. But what do we do with all the gear? Hmm. Kind of have a little situation here. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So we are preparing to go on a little trip for the Thanksgiving holiday and we need some room in the vehicle because Commander is great, but hard to fit a family of six plus stuff. So we got a Stowaway 2 Max a cargo carrier we're going to be installing. So, let's start with the Stowaway 2 car carrier. Wow, difficult unboxing, but yes, it was definitely worth the struggle. <laughs> this looks really cool. A nice brand new Stowaway. Whoa. Cool stuff. Oh, we got my wheels. Nice. All right, hitch lock. Sweet. What are you? Hardware. Nice. <laughs> Another box of air. He's doing this today. Beautiful. All right, we got all these pieces we must assemble and we got to mount it onto the Jeep. And here are our instructions and we're gonna start by assembling the frame. See, I wonder if it's gonna be easier to assemble everything on the vehicle, get it off the ground. Let's give that a try. out got my little hitch lock I bought this extra but I figured it would be cool it's always good to have a little extra locking capabilities right I'll just wiggle this back a little there we go cool that slides in lock on the back I'll go ahead and put our lock on the back. Cool. Now we can install our hitch clamp. <laughs> this stuff is pretty thick stuff, guys. Good, good quality here. It did not skimp out. <laughs> yeah. Lock washer and a nut. A set for each side. Yeah. 
Yeah, tight. And while I have easy access, I'm just gonna slide in my wire adapter. There we go. All right, let us now attach our swing arm. All right, I'm just spitballing here, but my guess is that the stowaway two ad is in the back right side up. So I think it's safe to say we can just drop this arm right here. Nice. I'm using the stowaway itself as a prop. This is a big bolt. One bolt on the top, one bolt in the middle. It's like a swing arm sandwich here. There we go. Easy as pie. My last washer on the bottom. This is a nylon lock washer, so this won't come off. All right, now we got the big dog with the 27 millimeter. All right, hold this down up top. It's about like a one inch up here, but got an adjustable, so here we go. I want to go a little tighter, but not too tight where it pinches and won't swing. Yeah, I can live with that. That's nice. All right, that's riding just a tad high, but no worries. Once we get some load on this thing, <laughs> that'll latch really nice. Oh, yeah. Like that. Check this out. This little guy, it's got like a safety screw. So, if we do not want this swinging at all, wrap that in. They could just hand tighten this. That's a beautiful design. Can't fault anybody for having dual safeties. Safety and redundancy is a good thing. <laughs> All right, so we got our hardware. And we got these nice little oval brackets. And of course, we got a little gasket here. Keep any moisture or water out. This thing is weatherproof. So we're gonna just wiggle this thing till we see the holes. There we go. Gotcha, got one. Two. Stubborn. <laughs> there we go. All right, who are you gonna come down and tighten her up from the bottom? You're wondering how I did that. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with using tools to your advantage. It's like almost impossible to get your arms around this thing. And I got a long wingspan, guys. I'm 6'2". I got like at least a six foot reach from arm to arm. Just make sure you work smarter, not harder. And now while I'm here, I'm just gonna pop in this drain plug. All right, now for the rear, we're gonna forego these locking nylon nuts and we are gonna switch to wheels. That's right, we're gonna put on these wheels. This will facilitate the rolling back and forth from the driveway to the garage. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't come with them. I had to pay extra 
but uh, Stellaway was nice enough to give me a nice discount on all these products for making a video. So that's just the perks of having a YouTube channel, and I get to show you a little extra content. All right. All right, so it comes with these lights, turn signals and brake lights, I presume, standard trailer package, and they're all pre-wired, which is really nice. Pre-wired up through here, then it comes down, and we got a nice sealed grommet over here, and here comes the wire, standard trailer wire. Oh, it's long, this one, this one is very long. <laughs> this plugs into our tow package, and all we gotta do is secure the wire to this bar with our included zip ties. Sweet. These, these are great guys. These are reusable zip ties. See? <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Stowaway. All right guys, it's got a pin which locks it in the open position. Pull the pin. Close this bad boy. Now we can lock it in the closed position. That just rides right there. Very nice. <laughs> nice. And there is our stowaway. Extra cargo. Awesome. Pretty sweet guys, everything working nicely, I love it, <laughs> maximizing our seven passenger Jeep, fantastic, awesome. Alright guys, that is a wrap for my Stowaway 2 cargo carrier video. I've been driving around with this thing the last couple days and I am very pleased with it. I am very happy to fit a family of six in the Commander now with four kids in the vehicle nice and safe but all their stuff in here nice and safe. It's very strong, very well made. It's got a waterproof seal. Everything from the hinges down to the trailer hitch is really strong guys. And I did pay extra for the trailer hitch, the wheels and the LED lights but it's really cool to be able to pop this thing off and wheel it into the garage. So that's awesome. All in all, I think I'm about $800 in, so it's kind of expensive, but it's really worth it to me because I can have a fully functional commander now, maximizing the use of this thing. They say it's not intended for off-road use, but I think you could get away with it overlanding, maybe not rock climbing, but <laughs> that is what it is. So I can still access the trunk because this arm swings away. I don't need to swing this thing away to access the flip glass, so that's cool. And I am really pleased with this thing again guys so if you want one go to stowaway2.com get your own i am not a paid sponsor i just really enjoy this thing again it completes my commander i could fit stuff in it now so that's it guys um again very thankful to be able to have this thing i am very thankful for you guys and my youtube channel so enjoy your thanksgiving i'm gonna put this thing to the test on a nice little trip and uh, I guess I'll check back in with you later, guys. So remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Peace.